Hi guys, good day, and uh, today we're going to discuss the top five paintings. These are my top five picks of all, and of course, it goes without saying this is very subjective. And and I think I have only seen a very small subsets of all the paintings in the world. All right, so let's start with the uh, with the fifth in my list. So all right, here it is. So this is the fifth in my list. It's a painting by Claude Monet. I think this painting is actually the face of a revolution in, in painting styles. And that is the Impressionism movement. Before this movement emerged, almost all of the paintings available are that of the, the Renaissance painting. Now, if, if you are familiar with with the renaissance painting those are the paintings of gods naked people naked girl naked women and men uh, angels uh, those very beautifully painted very detailed painted those paintings that uh, could have been painted for years before it's finished no and uh, there's nothing wrong with that painting i some i even like those paintings but this is a revolution in itself when Claude Monet painted this. In fact, this had garnered uh, so many critics that, yeah, it's it's unfinished, it looks unfinished, it looks rough. But really, when I first saw this, I really appreciated uh, how the artist captured captured the, the, the beauty of, of this scene. Uh, when I imagine it, I even imagine uh, that I, I was sleeping in a boat, no, and uh, and I just uh, and when I just open my eyes early in the morning in that boat, when my visions are still a little bit blurry because I just woke up, and then I we we see this, no, we see this, uh, you see this scene, and it it gives you that mood, uh, although it's it's really. It's really just a, a representation of uh, an impression uh, of, of the scene. I really love how how these simple strokes captured captured the the mood of the scene. So this is this is really the power of painting. It 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 revolutionized or it opened my mind to how really beauty is viewed. It's we don't really see it as a whole uh, our our attention can only focus in just one at a time in fact so this one it's really very simple you just focus on the sun and the others are just supporting it and it captures it captures the mood of that particular sunrise no and and during that time there are so many paintings that are that are like this, no? That are that are that looks unfinished and rough. This painting is really the face of the impressionist movement, and it marks it marks a new era of the of painting styles. So from from so this one it, it really has a special place in my heart because this is the first again painting that really inspired me to to really paint, and I think. Uh, this is a very famous painting. I, I think uh, s uh, most of you have seen this painting uh, sometime in your life because it's it's really famous. Now let's go to my uh, fourth top fourth painting. All right, this is the fourth of my top five paintings in the world. And uh, the the title of this painting is uh, "Girl with a Pearl Earring" by Johannes Vermeer. And really, this painting is perfect in every in every aspect that you can think of. It is not that you know the, the the paintings that I really like are are those paintings that that are loose and free. Look at the. Uh, the head gear here uh, as you can see it's it's really not not that look at that it's it's just it's just a some blob of paint it's not even detailed but but when you look back and when you s step back it, it 
I mean that's that's a cloth. That's that's a perfectly perfect representation of a headgear. This painting is entitled "Girl with a Pearl Earring," and really the highlight the the, the, the highlight of this painting is really the earrings that that the earrings that uh, she she is wearing. No, and when you look at it, yeah, that is a when you look at the earrings yes you can really see that that is a perfectly painted earrings right and you know that it's pearl that is a perfectly painted representation of a pearl earring but what is amazing about this painting is if you look there if you look if you look closely to how the earrings was painted look at that look at that that painting is just some just there is not even a painting of an of of a pearl here no look there is no painting of an of a pearl here it's just some blob of white paint it, he, Vermeer just painted the reflection of the earring actually so look at this there there is no yeah he just painted the the reflection and and it's very simple and when you look at it closely you you will not you will not see it you will not see that it's, it's an earring but when you step back when you step back you would see that really that that's that's an that's an earring that's a perfect pearl earring again uh when you it's uh, it's like magic no it mesmerizes me really how this artist can represent something in a very in the simplest way uh, possible it's like all of the, their brush strokes are just perfect brush strokes to 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 represent something not to represent this very beautiful uh, earring and of course uh, the expression of the of the model here is just it's just perfect the way it captures the light uh, it, uh, we know that there's a light coming from over here it's just perfect it's just perfect I, I mean I mean uh, this would have been my top one painting if it's not it's not for the other top three paintings that are really also I mean very nice so yeah let's go to my top three painting so here here is the the my, my top three painting it is uh titled uh roses by uh abbott abbott henderson thayer and this painting is just it's just the peak of uh still life paintings i mean you cannot paint you cannot get any better than this how, how i mean the again the things that i love about paintings are those loosely painted representations of real things no i mean this one look at the flowers these are these are perfect representation of roses the brush strokes are just loose and coarse and just perfect but again the the magic of this painting is is the vase uh, look at this vase uh, the how can you get away with this it's just a blob of paint with seemingly no directions here look if you look closely you cannot see that it's it's anything but when you look back again it all makes sense it's all there the 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 lightness the brightness the way the object catches the light the way it cut it casts shadows it's just perfect and these are the type of paintings that really are close to magical for me i really hope someday uh, i would be able to paint in such level of of mastery you know? because uh, i have had experience a little bit of experience in painting and uh, really this the painting loose is harder than detailed painting because painting loose you you only have very few brush strokes to 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 represent something that is real so you have to make it right every brush strokes must count must must be properly placed placed perfectly placed uh, 
so that you can give justice to your object and this one it's really just i mean in terms of still life painting this is perfect this is this is the best painting of still life that i have ever seen and uh yeah for me this is the best but again if you uh, but if you guys know of any painting that are that you think is better than this please comment comment down below and uh educate me maybe this list will uh will change in the future and i will give you a new new top five so yeah uh feel free to educate me and i would love to i would love to be educated also in terms of paintings all right let's go to my top two top two painting this next painting is is really just it's perfect it's perfect all right let's go to the next painting the next paintings are painted by the same painter so the painter's name is john singer sergeant and i could not describe him any less than a genius no? so really uh his paintings are perfect and in terms of realism i think this is the best realism paintings of that for me at least for me this this is this is the best realism painting uh that i have ever seen and uh yeah let's go let's go look at the my top uh two painting yeah so again this painting is the title of this painting is miss beatrice townsend by john singer sergeant and this painting it really there was a time when i was just looking at this painting for over 30 minutes just just uh just in awe of of how perfect this painting is and uh the magic really this painting is almost magical if you look at the painting you can see that uh this is a this is a very well representation of miss beatrice uh townsend right this you would think that this really is a very detailed painting of 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 the model uh and also of the dog but again the magic comes when you when you look at the when you look at the painting if you look at the painting uh closely no? look at the look at the look at the painting of the dog these are just these are just these are just blobs of paint look you don't even think if you look closely you don't even think that that's a dog right not even think some some parts are not even painted look at this some parts here not even painted here 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 these are not even painted and the dogs and the dog's face these are just like strokes of look how many strokes are this one two three like 10 strokes but when you step back that's that's a that's a dog i don't i don't know what breed is that but that's a perfectly represented dog and and here in this part we saw it that it it's not even painted right this look at this this part is not even painted but when i i step back i would just think that this girl really just have very small waist and it's, it is just perfect i mean uh look at look at her look at her her dress it, it's a black dress like it's just a it, it it's a black dress right it's just a very simple black dress but how it's painted really really shows the genius of john singer sergeant look at i think he only used two colors here and look how he he painted the the the, the dress here it's just like one stroke right one continuous stroke like and then he just he just whip it there just just whip it there and same as in this part now and when you look back <laughs> it's perfect i mean i mean that's a perfect representation of that's a perfect representation of of 
of a dress. And when you see the face, I mean, I mean, it, it helps that uh, the the model is really, I think, really very beautiful also. But the way it's painted, I mean, look at that very loose, very free. Look at the ears. It, the ears are not even painted. Look at it. There's no paint in it. It's just a, just like a very light uh, stroke, but it's it looks like it's not even painted. But again, and look at this. I can I can even still see the brush strokes that uh, John Singer Sargent used, and really, really, it's just perfect. The hair, the hair. Look at this. It's just one. The painting is just one pass. I think just one pass of his brush stroke. But again, this one, just one pass of the brush stroke, right? But but when you look back, that's that's a perfect hair. Sometimes I even wonder how 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 was it achieved? I mean, it's sometimes when you don't understand things you re you really just attribute it to genius uh, I mean I mean uh, I'm just sometimes at, at all at this uh, I'm sometimes just speechless when when looking at this look how loosely he painted the lips it's not even straight like it's not even properly painted right it's just a little bit of darker painting here some green which really contrasts the red so when you look back it has a, it has a perfect it's a perfect face and also we, you might not have noticed it but look at the hands look at the hand that's not that's not even a human hand i mean I, I, i'm not sure I'm not sure if that's a you. Does he? Ha does she has two thumbs? <laughs> I'm not sure about this hand. But when you look back, it's you don't. It doesn't even matter. Doesn't even. It's. It doesn't matter. It's just perfect. And look at look at the look at the 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 necklace or the the garments. It's just a like one stroke of paint this one is it's very loose the white paint is just very loose and i think it's just perfect how, how if you're a painter if you're a painter the temptation that you will have to finish this to, to paint this in detail must have been so much but he left it like this the 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 painter left it like this and when you again when you step back it's 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 perfect it's a perfect representation of a necklace i mean i could go on and on uh, i could go on on and on about this painting and again there was a time when it really took me 30 minutes just to just to like zoom in look at it zoom out zoom in again look the look at the brush strokes and then zoom out really that's 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 just what i did for 30 minutes just admiring how how this painting was uh, painted so again it's hard to believe that there is a painting better than than this painting right but uh but there is there is there, there is for me uh, it's painted by the same artist and without further ado here it is guys uh, my top one painting uh, titled uh, Lady Agnew of Lucknow uh, painted by the same artist uh, John Singer Sargent it's a perfect painting uh, I will not say too much about this painting I mean this painting speaks for itself already if you can just just pause the video and you know just appreciate and stare at this painting it's it's really it's really magnificent all the elements that made all those previous paintings uh, great are also in this painting so if you look closely these also are painted very very loosely but again when you step back and look at afar it's really just 
it's really just gorgeous and perfect. This painting just moves me in a personal way, really. We, I can't even express in words how, how, how perfect this painting is. I mean, this is the, the highest level of realism painting. So yeah, those are my top five paintings. I am very sure that uh, your top five is very different from mine. So if you think I have missed uh, some of your favorite paintings, just comment below and I will be sure to uh, look through them. So thank you very much for watching the, the video. So yeah, have a nice day ahead. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos.